I absolutely love the design. Oh, if you just can figure out what that is. Look at these on the inside. Look at these inside up. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's video I'm going to do an ISO first clothing haul. I've never ordered from ISO first. I didn't even know they did a men's section. So I was quite surprised when I saw it on like a sponsor lad on my phone. I just picked up like random things that I thought I would like. So yeah, I've got a big, a big bag, a big bag full. So I'm just going to show you what I've got and then try them on and show you what they look like on. Exactly how I normally do the other hauls. Just started looking through them all and I've generally forgot what I've bought. So the first thing I picked up is a grey basic oversized tracksuit. Just plain and simple, grey jumper without the hood. Nice and oversized. Got this in a size medium and this was £12. So that's the jumper and these are the joggers. They look like a nice size on the leg. Again, they're oversized so you, you can't tell that they are going to be baggy. Nice grey colour. They've got the cuffs at the bottom. A nice little waistband with a pull and drawstring. And I got these in a the size medium also and these were £6. £18 for a whole tracksuit. It feels like they're good quality as well. I'm very excited to try it on so yeah so that's the so the next thing I picked up is a mid blue long sleeve linen shirt. Already it's just light and airy and I love the colour. The shirt, as you can see, has buttons going down it all the way. It's not, it's not structured at all. Obviously it is going to be the sort of fabric that is just going to fall onto your skin. Looking at it from here, it's going to be a really nice fit. I got it in a size... Got this in a size medium. So this shirt was £9.60. It's a fairly poor shirt. That's the shirt. This is the mid blue linen trousers. The fabric just feels dead soft. Again, the leg looks like it's got a good width on it and I got this in a size medium as well. It's like an elasticated waist. It's not got any drawstring, so if you were going to get this, obviously get the right size for your waist because otherwise there's no way to adjust it. These cost £9. I think it's a really, a really good priced item. So I seen this next item and I thought, do you know what it is? I know I've got loads of coats, but what's another? It's a different sale, so you know what I mean? I've, it's not like I'm buying the same stuff. So this is the grey Borg truck I got it. And it's just got that Borg teddy look to it and feel of it. It's dead light for what you think a coat would feel like, but feels dead thick as well also, so it would it is going to keep you warm. I love the grey. I don't think I've got anything, I don't think I've got a grey coat. Oh no, that's a lie, I've got a grey oversized one, but that's waterproof. This would be like for the nice for like the non-rainy days. You've got your two pockets at the front there. This is what it looks like on the front. The sizing looks really nice. I got this in a size medium. I went by what the models were wearing on the site because I've not ordered from the ISO first before. So this coat cost um, 50 quid. Absolutely love that and I can't wait to try that on. That's that one. So this is the grey boxy trucker tracksuit. These are the trousers. So I got these in a size medium and they've like got like a cargo styling feel to them. You've got your little pulling waist there with your drawstrings so you can obviously fit it to your waist. The waist crinkles up which is really really nice. It's got stitching going down the middle of it as well which gives it a little bit more detail. It's like a nice space grey colour which I absolutely love. That's my favourite colour. Well, favourite shade. And on the back, you've got your two bottom pockets here. I don't think, yeah, they're not real pockets. But you've got your front pockets as well, which are actually. But yeah, they're the trousers. They look like they're going to be a nice fit. I've got them in a size medium, and they cost £40. Bit pricey for tr uh, cargo trousers, but it, I think it's going to be down to putting them on, trying them on, see what they look like, see whether it's worth keeping them. Because this is just... <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> just nearly lost the night. Um Yeah, these are just the trousers and the jacket. Jacket's the same style, the same colour. So this is the jacket. Again, a nice, a nice space grey colour. It's not picking up properly on the camera. It's a little bit darker in real life. 
You've got nice silvery grey pop buttons going all the way down. You've got your two front pop buttons on the on the shirt, which gives it a little the, the jacket a little bit more style. So I got the oh actually scratch out the trousers were 30 quid. The jacket was 40 pound. Um so altogether that's 70 pound. Got this in a size medium as well. That's quite a lot of money for like a cord. 70 quid. I'll have to see what it looks like on because quite frankly at the moment I haven't even tried it on and it's going back because that 70 quid on a cord that's a lot of money. I'll, I'll, I'll see. But yeah this is the shirt. These are the blue relaxed baggy jeans. With all the jeans I've got they're quite structured and they don't really balloon around the legs. I just want like these dead big baggy jeans. I love the ice blue colour. You've got your two pockets on the back there and your two front pockets. You've got a button down detailing for the that area. Got these in a size 30 so they're very thick. They feel like very good quality and these were 18 pound which I think is amazing for a pair of jeans especially when they feel this good quality. It's just a wide leg straight cut at the bottom but yeah, absolutely love them. Just a standard blue jean. The next item that I picked up caught me eye straight away. I've seen models wear it on the sponsored ads and it just looks amazing. I've, I've even seen past Love Island people that I follow on Instagram wear it and I've been like, where's that from? I saw it first. This is the stone oversized smiley boxy jumper. It's just like a nice cream jumper with like brown smiley faces on it. As you can see, absolutely love this and I can't wait to try this on. I just think it's got a really sick design. I have got proper high hopes for this one. I just think it's dead nice, dead trendy, stylish. The quality of it feels amazing. And yeah, can't wait to try this one on. So I've got a size medium in this and this was 30 quid. The fit just looks dead nice as well. I'm absolutely buzzing about that one. The next thing I picked up, um, I thought it was grey. I really need to start reading the description because I think they're certain colours and then they come and they're completely different and then I look back and then the description it literally says the colour. So anyway, on the model it looked like a space grey but it's come and it's like a corky green which I don't mind. I'm just a bit disappointed because I wanted the grey. So this is the corky colour bomber jacket. I had one of these bomber jackets in the past but it, I think it was like an extra small that I've grown it, but I absolutely loved it and I held on to it as much as I could. So I've seen this, it's a similar style, so I've picked this up and I do absolutely love the fit. You've got your elasticated bottom, which is going to hug your waist, and you've got the, like, the nice little collar. It's got a really nice soft fabric, dead light. So I got this in a size large, and this cost £25, which I think for a bomber jacket like this, the structure of it and everything, I think that's a really good price for like a bomber jacket considering the other stuff that I bought. I can't wait to try this one. I'm hoping you've got your inner shell fabric there on the inside. Got a cord. Oh man. <coughs> oh. I put a hole in the top. No, sorry. Oh, have I done it again? No. The next thing I picked up is a stone oversized jersey shocket. Just this nice beige colour. It's got like silver buttons on the front pocket and the silver buttons going all the way down the bottom. Fabric itself just feels dead light, airy and feels dead soft. So it's going to be like really comfortable on your skin. I think that would look really really nice with like some black jeans um, on the bottom. White top, just literally the simplest of outfits. So I got this in a size medium and this was 20 quid. Even putting a hoodie underneath this would look really nice. That's that. So the next one was hands down my easiest choice of the haul. So it's just a, a plain simple white oversized hoodie. It says on the front, Baltimore Limited Edition USA. I don't know what that is. Wavy. Wassy, Wassy Land? Wassy, Wassy? Maisy Land? Maz, Maryland? Oh, I don't know. 
If you can figure out what that is, please let us know in the comments below. You've got your pocket in there, goes all the way through. Feels thick, but light at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, you can tell it's going to keep you warm anyway. Got this in a size medium, and this costs 25 quid. Last but not least is the brown oversized check shirt. The black and the beige um, check, absolutely love it. I've got, I don't think I've got a dark check in my wardrobe. I think they're all pretty much like light and white and greys. So I thought, do you want to just change it up? Get this. This is, so I got this in a size medium, and this costs 25 quid. I think it'll look really nice with some black jeans. Just going for that darker look. Yeah, this is the back. You've got your black buttons going all the way down. Very excited to try that on. That is the last item to show you. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to try them all on, show you what they look like on. So this is the beige oversized jumper with the brown smiley faces all around it. I absolutely love the design. I absolutely love the jumper. I think it's just a really nice fit. I like how the elasticated bottom brings it in and balloons the jumper up. Gives it that oversized look and the, the width on the arms isn't too skinny or too big, just falls nicely. I've just kept it on with the, the jeans that I've bought in this haul. So they go really nice together. I love all the colours contrast with each other. This is the back of the jumper, again just the same design as on the front. Just going all the way around. I did really well with just getting the medium. I think the, sm the large, if I had got the large, it probably would have been a bit too big and just drowned us a bit. So yeah, that's that one. Well, this is the white oversized jumper. Um, going off first looks, I like it. Like I like the white jumper itself. I just think maybe I just would want it a little bit more balloony instead of falling. Might just be a quick fix of half tucking it in and half tucking it out. But I don't know, I'm not sure. I like it, I like the colour. I like, I like it with the blue jeans. Like, see like that, I think that's just too long for us, but if I pull it up, let it bag a little bit, that makes it look a little bit better. Love the green detail along the top. I think it, it just brings something to the jumper. This is the back, just nice and plain. But, I mean, don't get us wrong, like, the fit on the arms is really, really nice, and it's a, a really good size. I just don't know if it's a bit too long. It's probably one of those things I'm going to have to look back at. Probably try on again a couple of times before I decide to send it back. That's that one. So the next thing I've tried on is the beige and black check shirt. I've just kept the white jumper on that I've just tried on before because the jumper itself is dead light and dead thin. But it makes it easier to just layer things on top of it. I've just got my blue jeans on but the shirt itself is a nice size. I would ideally probably went for the bigger size because I do like a big oversized shirt that just hangs. Uh, but the shirt, I do really like it. It's just dead soft, dead light. Obviously I've only just put it on with the jumper but you can just wear it by itself. I just think the check on it's just dead different to what I've normally got. So I do think I would benefit from keeping this. This is the back. Obviously you've got your, your collar going all the way around. It falls dead nice. It falls like mid bum area. The clothes that I've paired it with make it look like a really nice outfit to go out in. I think this is a really nice casual outfit. Yeah, very happy with this one and very tempted to keep it. Very happy about the shirt. Love the colour, love the style of it, love the structure. Overall, I just think it's really nice um, and I think I probably will end up keeping this one. So the next thing I've tried on is the cream beigey jacket. Uh, I've kept it on with my blue jeans because it's such a light colour it would go really well with the jeans which it does I just don't think I'm a fan of the, the jacket itself the feel of it just feels in my opinion cheap I just don't think it's big enough for a medium like I know if I raise my arms that it's just going to lift up and show my stomach uh, I've kept it closed up maybe it's one of those things that you have to wear like as an overshirt open like on top of a jumper Maybe it would look better like that, but I've just kept it closed. I'm just not a fan, which I think is absolutely fine. I mean, I, I need something to go in the note pile. I don't get us wrong, the, the fit on the arms is nice. It falls nice on the hands. I just think the only area that um, I'm struggling with, the bottom going all the way around, seems a bit like too open. Uh, 
but again, maybe it's me because I've not got a top one underneath. Maybe I need to put a top one underneath, keep it open, or like I say, put it putting the jumper underneath as well might fix it. This is the back. So it just falls over the bone. I don't think I'm gonna be keeping this. So this is the Grey Borg coat. I absolutely love this one. Like straight away, I love the bulkiness of it. I love the colour, love the fit. The way it sits just above the hands and bulks out on the arms, love that. This is the back. Just plain and simple, just like the front. You've got your two pockets there. Not sure what you're gonna put in there, but gives it a little bit more design. But yeah, just the way it falls. It's dead nice, dead thick on the sides as well, bulks, just the way I like it. And just, I honestly think it's really, really smart. I've only had it on for like a couple of minutes and I'm already warm, so definitely gonna keep you warm in the winter. Kept the blue jeans on that I've uh, bought in the haul um, and a white top underneath. Do apologise with the top, I've not ironed it, because uh, I can't be asked to. I think I'm definitely going to keep it. It's got no pockets. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but because it was 50 quid, I was, uh, like, part of us was just n not wanting this to like because of the amount of money it is. It's just too nice to send back. So this is the corky green uh, bomber jacket. I'm not a fan of the colour. No, I, I, I don't know. I, I, like I said, I think it's because I thought it was grey that I had the expectation of it coming as grey. And now that it's come, I don't. I think that's just the general reason why I don't like it. I might actually go online and see if they've got a different colour in it uh, because the fit of it is just perfect. Falls really nice on the arms, just dead fitted. Obviously got your elasticated bottom which just gives it that little bit more structure and just makes it balloon a little bit. It falls nice, just just above the, the bum area, which is which is what I like. I don't, like with bomber jackets, I want them to sit, sit right. It comes around nice on the, on the front as well. Just overall really, really nice. This is the back. Again, you can see, just nice and structured. Doesn't, doesn't make it look bigger than what it is. So I think that one's gonna go back, which is a shame. So the next thing I'll try on is the grey trucker shirt. So I've got the trousers on as well as it's a cord. But the shirt, lovely fit. Love the way it falls, love the way it bulks out. I think to, like having them both together is just, it looks great. But the colour, absolutely love it. Just kept it on with like a white t-shirt. Um, mind the creases in them because every single thing needs iron that I'm wearing. I think it's just the fabric that it is, obviously it's been crinkled up in the packaging and just needs a good iron out, which, yeah, you can probably see that, but yeah, just the design on the shirt, just like really, really nice, obviously, don't know if you can see that, that going across the bottom, just an extra lining, pop our buttons going all the way down, I mean, I absolutely love the shirt, falls just dead nicely, just above the bum area, um, We've got like a little popper design on the side there as well, which I didn't notice before. Falls nice, gives it that oversized look. And it goes really well, obviously, with the trousers as well, just as a full outfit. I think I'm definitely going to keep this. This would be just like a nice, like getting pictures in this outfit would just look so cool, I think. So yeah, absolutely love that. So these are the grey cargo trousers. Got them on with the cargo shirt. Absolutely love the fit on the trousers. I think if I had trainers on with them, they'll look better because it'll just it'll sit really nice on the trainer. Just bulk it up a little bit more. But the, the overall fit of the trousers, I just absolutely love. I love the obviously the little seam going down the, the middle there. Gives it a little bit more detail. Love the whole outfit as a whole. I just think it looks dead trendy, dead stylish. The wideness of the legs, wide enough as well. This is what they look like on the back. Lovely fit, don't sag on the bottom by the Just absolutely love this outfit. I think, I think out of everything, this is probably my favourite outfit to try on. I'm definitely keeping these. Can't wait to wear these together. I just like the, how the balloon around this area as well. With cargo trousers, they're not flimsy at all. They don't fall on the leg. They do bulk out in places, which is what I like. Makes it nice up a little bit thicker. But yeah, overall very, very happy with this. 
So these are the mid blue linen trousers. Look at these on the inside. Look at these inside off. Oh my god, I can off. Not inside out, back to front. I just think it's giving us pajama vibes. They're too thin, they're too flimsy, and if I was to step outside, they're just going to freeze my legs. Like, there's not enough fabric to keep us warm in these, and I think these would be perfect for if we're going on holiday for the night time. I'm not a fan. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of them. It fits, uh, shows the, shows the, uh, st oh, I words off. Ma, ma, ma. Right. So the fit on the leg is nice. I like how it falls. I like where it comes on the foot. The wideness of the fabric, absolutely love that. The cord is definitely going back. There's no point keeping it if I'm not 100%. You might think different, you might be planning the holiday um, and you might like the sort of stuff, but for me it's a no. Well this is the blue linen shirt. Um, I've kept the blue linen trousers on because it's obviously it comes as a cord. I think this is just a bit too tight and just looks a little bit too pajama. It's very thin and obviously because it's linen it's just falling on the skin. Now that we're in winter going into spring I think this isn't probably the right thing to wear. Yeah, I'll be absolutely Baltic outside. The fit is really nice but I would have probably went for a bigger size but then again the way it falls on my hands if I went on the bigger size, it probably just drown us, I think. It falls nice on the back, but I just think overall, it's just not for me, I think. The colour's lovely. It's a shame because I was excited to obviously try this on, and I did think it was going to look really nice. So that, yeah, that's, that's the shirt of the cord. The next thing I tried on is the grey oversized jumper. So I've got the grey oversized jogger bottoms on it comes as a pair the jump are really nice sizing bulks on the arms really nicely just a really nice fit this is the back it literally is just a plain and simple grey jump are if you want to bulk out a little bit instead of it falling down you can tuck it in pull it out a little bit just to give it that like extra oversized look but yeah really really like the jump are not really much to say about it, to be fair. These are the oversized grey joggers. Um, <laughs> I literally think they're just too oversized. Too baggy on the leg. They all bunch up at the bottom of the foot. Because there's too much fabric, there's not much fabric touching my leg, so I feel like I've, I've actually got nothing on. Um, <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm not a fan. I do like the oversized look, but I think this is just, um, like I say, a step too far for the confidence level. Maybe in the future I'll be a little bit more comfortable if I get my legs a, bit, a little bit bigger. But um, yeah, I think it's just a bit, a bit, a bit too much, a bit too soon. You might like them, but um, yeah, that's down to personal preference. But just even the crotch, it's just literally like very, very low. It's very flimsy fabric on the on the joggers. The jumper, it's got a little bit more structure to it. It's a little bit thicker, but when it comes to the the joggers, just a little bit too. Uh, I'm not going to just keep the jumper for the sake of keeping the jumper. I think I'm just going to send them both back and just try again with a different oversized grey tracksuit. So that is the end of the clothing haul and try on. I hope he's enjoyed it. I hope he's liked the pieces that I picked out. I'll say it again, I've never shopped from ISO first, so for this being the first time ever, I think it's been a massive success. I absolutely love the clothes. Some of them I'm obviously going to send back because I'm not that keen on them. I'm kind of glad really because I need more money put in the bank. Uh, yeah. What I'll do for you is, is I'll link everything in the description below. If you like it, just click straight on it, go and grab it. If you weren't aware that ISO first have a men's section, Go and have a look because they have some men's stuff on there. Like that whole haul costs us like 200 quid. Um, a lot of money, but some of the stuff I am selling back. Um, but yeah. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've enjoyed it, like it, share it and comment on it. And if you are new here and you are not yet subscribed, 
and you like the content I'm supplying, then please subscribe to the channel. See you on the next video. Cheers.